Lovely. Now let's build a new exhibit in the gap that's been left. Just add it to the building like we did with the research center earlier. Then pop it into the gap. Welcome to another episode of the Planet Zoo series. And Nancy starts right off by talking. So I <laughs> figured I'd let her do that first. Otherwise that's just going to be interrupted. So we've done the bronze and all of the silver. Now we're working through gold. This is the second career level thing. All right. Add to group. We'll just pop it in here. Perfect. The next thing to do is adopt an exhibit animal to go in there. How about a healer monster? Open up the exhibit trading section and adopt one. Got it. Healer monster. Place it. Got it. Uh, place it. <laughs> go in and look at this guy. When you send an animal to an exhibit, it'll automatically be given the correct setup. But that doesn't mean it's completely ready for them. So let's finish it off. All right. We'll start by adding some enrichment items. Click on the exhibit to bring up its information panel. Yay, rocks. <laughs> information panel. As I'm sure you know by now, you can unlock more enrichment levels by having one of your vets do some research. Now we'll also need to set the temperature and humidity in the exhibit. These are vitally important for keeping our healer monster happy and comfortable. Click on the climate tab. Got it. We need to adjust this to be correct. Even hotter. Go 40. Yeah, you can see the healer monster's too much. desired temperature and humidity. You can change both of these by adjusting the dials below. Make sure it's going to be nice and cozy. Yay. We got that one. Let's set this to 20 just because I like round numbers. All right, let's look at exhibit windows. You have anything to say about this, Nancy? You're just telling me it's here. All right. That's the ticket. And the last thing we need to look at is setting up the different windows. So click on the windows tab. Done. Don't tap on the glass, sir. There's also an exhibit education board. Pop them down near your exhibit to teach your guests about them. Let's add one now. I'm going to talk about these windows first, Nancy. All right, so what we have here is you can close any of the windows. So you can see that one's closed now. Uh, I went ahead and chose to close the one between the two exhibits. And then you can choose to either do a 2D will be a photo or you can do the 3d almost all of them i prefer doing the 3d looks nicer and i think that they could use it more you know all right and while we do that can we oh look at that guy oh i thought those nostrils were his eyeballs those are his nose there's his eyeballs so let's go ahead and give him a better window situation as well since he has the back of the other guys and we'll give him a 3d one as well which gives him a little waterfall and plants very nice all right now she wants an information board so that's under facilities viewing devices darn darn we'll set this right here in the middle we need to set it up for the gila monster give me gives me folks all right there we go the monster. Lovely stuff. Now our guests can learn all about our venomous friend here. Right, now I've got a bit of a big job for you. I need you to increase the number of species in the zoo. You'll probably want to adopt both habitat and exhibit animals to do so, which will mean building plenty of new habitats and exhibits for them. Go on, off you pop. I found I'll him. check in with you when you're almost done. Hi, little buddy. All right, let's exit that. Get a good view of this guy. Yeah, yeah. just tucked away. I would be too with all these people around. Look at that guy. All right, so Nancy has set us free to do what we please. Go ahead and give it a pause and see exactly what she wants. She wants us to add three new species to the zoo. 
And let's look at what we have so far. We have, uh, yep, orangutans in here. Oh, we've got two BBs. And then <laughs> I've been playing this, uh, in the background with my sister. We just get on, uh, Discord and talk and we just do the same levels and then show off our solutions at the end to see how we do things differently. But it took us both a while to realize there's a hippo exhibit in here. <laughs> Hey guys! That's just like right in the middle of the whole uh, zoo. Or in underneath all the bridges and stuff. So that's the orangutans. And then we have three here. We have a ring-tailed lemur. Red ruffed lemurs are over here. Look at them. They're so vibrant. And then over here is the blue-butted guys. Uh, mandrills. Over here, I think, is the bonobos. Yep, there they are. Hello, little guys. And I think that's all the habitat um, animals that we have here. We can go to our zoo. And habitats. The two lemurs, man. <laughs> yep, that's everybody. And then we have four exhibits. Let's go ahead. There's been mosquitoes in my house, and I don't understand why, because it's November! <laughs> Gila monster. And then we have an empty one. So let's go check that guy out. Boom in. Alright. Ooh. What do we have next door? A little cockroach. So let's go ahead and buy something for the exhibit, and I'll get one out of the way. It'll be quick. I do not want another cockroach. We can do snail. Hilo monster, we already have one of those. We could do a goliath frog. Big buddy. Uh, lesser iguana, I think we have one of those. Okay, so it's either the toad or the snail. Let's go with the goliath. Not a bird eater. God, not a goliath bird eater. Okay. So what do we have here? Pretty good long living frog. Ooh, a rescue. Let's get a little rescue. Alright, and then we'll send to zoo and put into this. Ooh, it's so lush. Alright, now let's get the window sorted. And pause. Window. No. There we go. And we'll do 3D. Yes. Give them a little fountain. And then for our cockroach, we'll also give them a window. Fourth one. Let's do that. There we go. Oh, let's check the temperature of this one. So, climate. It's a little too warm. Let's go down a little bit. Wow, it's really picky. I don't know, I feel like that's right there in the middle <laughs> of the line. Alright, let's look at the Zoopedia. And see if that helps. 26 to 32. I think I have it set to 30. I know it's very hot. It's 42 degrees Celsius. And I think that's like the. Uh, I don't know. Let me look. Yeah, that's in the hundreds. It's 107 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> Alright, so climate. I'm gonna leave it at 30 because I was right there in the middle. Oh, alright. <laughs> And then layout, we don't have anything researched for this big buddy, so he's just gonna have to chill like this. Where are you, buddy? Oh! Look at him! It's like the size of that person's head! He's huge! I suppose that's why he's called a Goliath. Alright, so we got that guy set up. I have a warning here. Ah, research complete. 
into the lemur. Let's go ahead and move this onto the Gila monster. Um, just because we don't have anything. Well, let's put it on the, the frog. Because we were able to put in some decoration for the Gila monster. So let's get it on the Goliath because he has nothing in there. Good. Alright. So now we can get either a bard's tapir or a chimpanzee. So we'll probably be getting those two. Uh, the question is where do we want to put them? We could go out this way. Build out there. That would be interesting. There's also this big space right here that we could use right next to the hippos. So I think there is some um, stuff out here that people wouldn't want to see. And then obviously there's this big, big space. So I think I'm going to go ahead and put both of them out here. Maybe. We'll see. Alright, so first what I'm going to do is go ahead and delete these paths. I think I want to keep it lifted up. Kind of like the rest of the stuff. I want to try to have a pretty similar style. So most of these have a whole walk around these guys and so I kind of want to do something similar here. Alright, so the chimpanzees are only available under the conservation credits. And then we can... the tapirs from both. Um, I do think that these credits are separate. They're not like my overall credits, so I think that's okay to spend these here and it won't affect like my franchise mode, which would be ideal. I think I'm gonna get this buddy because he's got really good stats. And then we'll go ahead and get this, this lady. But let's check the Zoopedia and check this one to two. So that would be the max would just be those two. So they are often solitary but may be found in monogamous pairs with their young offspring or in temporary feeding groups. So I guess we'll get those two so that maybe they can make some babies. So let's go back into animal trading and get that last guy. Or gal, in this case. So this one or this one? This one. Just doesn't have a whole lot of fertility though. Let's actually get this girl. Alright, there we go. So we'll do the tapirs first. Kind of deciding, I, I flattened this a little bit, but I might flatten the whole thing. Well, not if we're raised up. I could have the habitat on this mound and then have the path go around it. Maybe that's what I'll do. So I guess I'm going to build up my habitat real quick.
I think I have the tapir habitat started. <laughs> it was going really well and then I remembered I needed to let staff in somehow. <laughs> so that was a challenge. Um, especially with the way I built it around the terrain. So I'm trying to flatten out this area. Trying to make it a little nicer and the transition smoother. You can only do so much around, as you can see there, where uh, barriers are. Which is why I had to remove them entirely to <laughs> make this area kind of work. <laughs> so this is where our uh, keeper will come in. This is where our guests can come and look at the tapir. We're gonna really need a good uh, tidy place for the tapirs because I think with the people up above the habitat, they're more seen and that can cause more anxiety. So I'm definitely going to want to do a nice place for them to hide and add nice areas with plants and stuff that they can go hide in. So let's go ahead and get our tapirs put in. Start this up. And animal trading, storage. If you hold shift, you can get both. Uh, cannot be released in the wild, that's fine. Let's go ahead and move them in here so we can see what we need to do for them. Unable to access trade center with space. Interesting. We'll have to see what, if anything happens because of what that message was. All right, so we've got guests. Hello, me. Um, in franchise mode, uh, you can click on um, any of the visitor visiting players and say hello, and it gives you conservation points. Don't know why. That's fine. Cool. You can see what their goal is when they get here. So he's gotten to see everything they wanted. Matto. Hey there, buddy. What are you hoping to see? Oh, he doesn't really care. Oh, we're catching some, uh, a thief. I see him going after him. Get her! I don't think he's gonna get her. I think she's gonna get away. Apprehending miscreant. <gasps> you didn't make it. Let's... Oh, he's pretty skilled. Uh, let's go ahead and train him. Our tapirs are in. Oh, we're down. Let's increase their, his pay so that when he gets trained it'll be fine. It'll make it so he can catch the people better to be trained. Go ahead and pause this. Alright, hi buddies. So, let's take a look at what these guys want. We have plenty of space, but we don't have enough water for them or heart shelter. So, let's see. Where, oops, where do I want some water? The terrain's perfect. That's, that's nice. They want lots of plants, which is also nice. Before we decide where to put our pond, we should look here and see if their place is already covered. So this corner is covered by this water pump. So we will probably want our pond over here. We'll do like a rock wall right there, maybe. Yay! I did it! I always really struggle with um, making the water at a decent height. It's almost always like well down below. All right. We got them some water. Uh, so, so tropical, temperate, and grassland. What kind of stone is around here? Tropical? All right. So I think... What I shall do is tropical stonework real quick. <sighs>
All right, let's go ahead and give this a play. See how things update. Our hard shelter's 100% now. Never mind, it's 80. <laughs> All right, I guess we need more space. Kind of surprised. I mean, I guess they are kind of big. There's probably not enough space. All right, fine. I'd prefer it if we went back to the 100%. That would be preferable but I guess not. Uh, I'll probably give this another pause um, so I can get this done because we don't have any like food situations set up for these guys yet. Uh, ah this isn't actually aligned to surface. It can only be used flat which makes sense. So yeah this is what I have so far is this not enough space here. And then we have our pool with a little bit of rocks. They look weird now, but they're kind of planned to have plants in them. Which will be the next thing I do. Let's get tropical, temperate. We've got tropical already. Nope. Uh, and this is South Central America. Biome. Tropical, temperate, and grasslands. Yes. Let's see if we can find some nice trees to have in here for them. Ooh, they like the vines. Oh, there's so many options. Swiss plant. Ooh, I do like this guy. A really colorful tree in here. Are we... yeah, let's get that off. I turned off... I, I use a lot of hotkeys. So, I do sometimes use V, which uses a line to surface. I use that for rocks so they don't get too repetitive. Um, but it does make your trees not straight up, so hitting V changes that. Let's have a really nice flower plant there. What other ones do we got? Ooh, big boy. Yeah, I want like a big tree back here. Let's see if we can turn it in such a way that it won't be too much of a pain to the guest. There we go. But I thought it might be a cool little nook for them to go tuck away into. Let's get one of these here. I don't like using the same plant in place, you know, however many of that plant I want so I can make sure I have it kind of spaced out nice. It's probably not the natural way of doing it, but it's what I like. Biggin? Let's do a biggin right here. <laughs> Chooses a big one, sends most of it through the ground. Just tapping uh, shift makes things go Back to the surface. All right, put some of that there. I also want to get a lot of plants over this back wall here. Sinking down under the ground a bit helps change the give some variety too. I can't imagine what this looks like from the outside. That's fine. It's a wood fence. Stuff would grow through it. Yay! All right. Let's get some more of these plants elsewhere. Go over here. This place is- this big ol' space is pretty empty. Do they have a forage box? Oh, I, oh, this isn't franchise mode. I've been playing franchise mode a bit. I'm sorry that's been open this whole time. <laughs> I'm so bad at closing uh, HUD stuff because I just- I just ignore it. But it's hard to ignore when you're not playing. So, 
What is that? Oh, history. Okay, so that's the one we sold. All oh, right, habitat. Let's see what we can put in here for our tapir. Ooh, we do have a forge box. Okay, good. So I'm gonna stick that here. Kind of fill up that empty spot. I might put some stuff around that. Um, we do need a forge, not forge, a uh, food station. I, was, I said forge because I was looking at this herb scented thing. Uh, let's check their enrichment. Let's get playing for a little bit. They need another toy. Uh, yes. Let's put the scratch post. Oh, oh my game. Snagged there for a second. Oops. Let's maybe give them a sprinkler. Somewhere to cool off. Uh, maybe over here. There we go. Then I'll put some more of the lower stuff around the forge box. Oh, he's running away. Oh, it's because it's raining. There we go. And then maybe a little flower in here. Yeah, I think a tree would help. So, there we go. And how is their uh, terrain? It's looking good. The water is right. The heart shelter isn't. Okay. Uh, enrichment. I could use more. So, let's grab. Oh, I still don't have a feeding station for them. Okay, let's get some food. Medium, because there's two of them. Maybe. I don't need to put any uh, water in here. They can just drink from their lake. Let's get this there. Oh, that's kind of nice. I like how it kind of put the earth around the rock a bit. I like how that looks. Yes. Look at them running around. Little chunk things. They're so cute. Okay. Sniff, sniff. I'll get your home worked up. Ah, we're getting cleaned up. Ooh. Always good. Thanks for your hard work, sir. The at all. <laughs> How much more do I need to do? Exit. Uh, our shelter is a hundred percent now. Huzzah! I should do more back here. I have a cool idea, which would be to build like a bit of a lattice and then have plants on top of it, until so they could go back behind it. It'd be kind of like a shelter, but it would be like plants and stuff but I don't know that it would fit because everything else looks so natural I mean uh created natural you know like none of it looks natural because this isn't what it would look like um where this creature comes from but kind of just thinking about switching my uh oh the one in the middle I think it may be too tall for the habitat so I might switch it to this guy. There. It gives it more like coverage. You can still see the up into the habitat from this angle. So just a little couple things. So it kind of looks like they've made a little path and this is where they usually chill. I am wondering about moving this scented, this herb thing. And having them come back here for it. And then moving the sprinkler where that was. Yeah. What do you guys think? Hey buddy. We can do our little click and get a camera view of him. What about you buddy? Whoa look at him go. I think he's gonna go take a break. I get you buddy. I don't like being with people much either. Oh, look at him. Well, I think that's going to be it for this episode. We got a really nice exhibit, best I can manage probably, uh, for these guys. We also got a big old toad frog chilling in our an exhibit over there. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and until next time, have a wonderful day. Thank you.